fox is almost is always more dangerous in the forest than the wolf. You can see the wolf coming. You know what he's up to. But the fox will fool you. He comes at you with his mouth shaped in such a way that even though you see his teeth, you think he's smiling and taking for a friend. יש את הסנאט, יש את הקונגרס, יש את הכוח היהודי שהוא עצום, יותר חזק משהיה אי פעם, יש דעת קהל, יש לנו כוחות כבירים בדעת הקהל שמתנגדים למדיניות הזאת, גדולי הפרשנים. אמריקה לא תכפה עלינו דבר. Um, that we've heard from many students that they do not feel safe. You've talked about that in your statements. But the anti-Semitism we've seen and on your campuses didn't come out of nowhere. There are cultures at your institutions that foster it because you have faculty and students who hate Jews, hate Israel, and are comfortable apologizing for terror. How did your campuses get this way? What is it about the way that you hire faculty and approve curriculum that's allowing your campuses to be infected by this intellectual and moral rot? We will be following up with asking for specific plans for disciplining student and faculty who assault or harass students or prevent them from accessing undis undisrupted classes or campus spaces. We'll be asking for your plan for preventing this rot from perpetuating how you're going to hire and assess instructors, how will you change how you govern students, and what are the practical steps you will plan to take. Um, I, I want to ask you one more question. It see, as I've said, and, and Ms. McGill, I appreciate the fact that you feel uh, concerned about the fun my feeling about the fundamental culture on the campuses that's foundational to this issue, denial of the right of Israel to exist. So I want to ask each one of you, President Gay, do you believe that Israel has a right to exist as a Jewish nation? I agree that the state of Israel has the right to exist. Ms. McGill, same question. I agree, Chairwoman Fox, the state of Israel has the right to exist. Dr. Kornbluth. Absolutely, Israel has the right to exist. I want to thank our witnesses again for being here and to say we will follow up and to tell you that um, while we've talked about a larger culture out there, it's the universities who should be um, examples of what this nation is all about. Captain. <laughs> had several other uh, people in the country, even among the Jews, the Zionists particularly, who were against anything that was to be done if they couldn't have the whole of Palestine and everything handed to them on a silver plate so they wouldn't have to do anything. It couldn't be done. We had to take it in small doses. You can't move uh, five or six million people out of a country and fill it up with five or six million more and expect both sets of them to be pleased. We had all sorts of uh, objections to everything that was done. Something had to be done. We went ahead and I done it. I don't think that decision to recognize Israel is an easy one. I had to make a compromise with the Arabs and divide Palestine. Can you tell us specifically that a lot of Jewish people were against you too? They'll, oh, well, there were a lot of Jewish people against me because they want the whole of Palestine. As I say, they want to drive all the Arabs into the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. fox acts friendly toward the lamb mm -hmm. and usually the fox is the one who ends up with the lamb chop on his plate. Mm -hmm. The wolf doesn't act friendly and therefore the <coughs> wolf has more difficulty in getting the lamb chop in his plate. I think I point out all the time that all, all we've ever needed, we don't need all these laws we passed now, all we've ever needed was the Ten Commandments. Everything, every action we take could be com contained within the Ten Commandments.